showing you today as a COVID positive mom, how I am taking care of my symptoms, how I'm trying to get over this thing as fast as possible while still taking care of my kids and my husband and trying not to get them sick in the process. Hey mamas, welcome back to the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise, personal trainer for moms and pregnancy postpartum. My specialty is helping moms to get a flatter belly after baby. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click down below and grab my flat belly after baby ebook. Now we're not talking about fitness or anything pregnancy or postpartum related. I'm showing you guys and telling you guys how, what I'm doing for our COVID treatment plan. So let's get into it. So first of all, when we found out that I was the only, at the time, the only COVID positive person in this house, we decided that this bedroom would be dedicated just for me and, you know, kind of be, this is the sick room um, where my husband just slept with one of the kids. Um, and so what we did every day, when I woke up in the morning, um, I just opened the windows, I let some fresh air in, I let the COVID breathing air out, and that's how I started my morning. I strapped on my mask and I began my day locked in my own home, wearing a mask almost all day long, trying to, you know, prevent my kids from getting sick. Um, you can see here, this is how my kids hugged and kissed me every morning from afar. Oh, I love you too. That's how you're giving me hugs? How are you gonna give me kisses? Mwah. Because the kitchen is basically my domain, I'm the one who does all the cooking and cleaning in the kitchen, um, I didn't feel the need to have to, you know, sanitize the kitchen drawers and the handles so much. However, in shared areas, crafts, food, you know, dining, uh, dining room table, I had to make sure that everything that my kids touched was clean and it's re it was really hard because they're always touching everything. So cleaning with um, antibacterial, you know, kind of disinfectant stuff is really important. And uh, washing hands is so important. I think that goes without saying since the very beginning of COVID, like the early days, the months of 2020, washing hands is a huge importance. And I can't even tell you how raw and dry my hands are from washing them all day long. So for hand washing purposes, I made sure that the kids used only the powder room, the powder room bathroom. That was kind of their designated area to wash hands, where me, the sick COVID mom, washed the hand, my hands in the sink. And when it comes to mealtime, uh, the COVID positive ones of us, so uh, a few days after I tested positive, my daughter tested positive. And so the two of us girls, we ate away at a different table from the guys. The guys ate at the kitchen table and we just ate by ourselves at the island. I really did try wearing gloves and a mask for most of the day, even doing like silly mundane things like laundry, uh, sorting dirty laundry and folding laundry. But I gotta admit that my box of gloves got used up really quickly. And before you knew it, I had no more gloves and I had to resort to some other methods. Um, like here, using tongs to put bread in the toaster. Like seriously, cooking and just regular preparation of food is so difficult when you can't use your bare hands or in my case, trying my best not to use my bare hands when handling food. Because we are relegated to this house and we cannot leave until our approved uh, number of days in isolation, we had to order everything online. So I did my grocery order online and I had my sister-in-law pick up our groceries and deliver them to us. And I can't tell you how much of a godsend that was. And I am so grateful for all of our friends you know, friend, just family, friends, people at church who found out that two of us were COVID positive and they are just, you know, hey, can I get you any groceries? Do you need more gloves and like Lysol spray? So it's just really great to have people in our life helping us in that way. Here's what we stocked up on, on our groceries. Tons and tons of fruits and veggies, OMG. Look, I even got three boxes of clementines. Uh, lemons, berries, lots of vitamin C to increase our immune system. Um, and you know, it's pretty much looks, this pretty much looks like our regular groceries, only a lot more berries and obviously oranges than normal. 
Fruit and veggies are so important because they contain vitamins and minerals such as vitamin C, like I mentioned, to help ward off illness and increase our immune system. And they contain antioxidants to fight the bad free radical cells in our bodies. I always like to tell my clients, the more bright and vibrant fruits and vegetables are, those are the ones with more antioxidants that you should be consuming more of. And during the sick time, I just ate what my body gravitated toward, which was lots of fruit. Uh, berries, of course, but pomegranates, because it's pomegranate season, and I just love eating them. Even the kids, me, I made sure that their snacks, their snacks, uh, pretty much every meal they had some kind of fresh fruit or berries. So my COVID symptoms are very mild. Like I'd say even more mild than the common cold. So me being sick, it didn't prevent me from cooking and doing any of my normal kind of mom duties. So I cooked what we mainly mostly eat any kind of healthy week. Simple proteins, vegetables, complex carbohydrates, and lots and lots of onions and garlic added to most of our foods. Um, because onions are anti-inflammatory and they have antibacterial properties. Um, garlic is great because it has prebiotic. It's a prebiotic that feeds the good gut bacteria, so helping to keep our gut and our immune system healthy. I cooked up a lot of onions and I just added them to salads on top of my meat with sauteed veggies. Um, and protein is really important as well because it's vital to our immune system and the antibodies that we do have in our body rely on protein. And soups, of course, I made a lot of soup. So I started by making my own bone broth. Um, in my case, I didn't have time for the bones. I actually didn't even have the bones. So I just made chicken broth. Um, and it's just so great when you're feeling sick. There's so many minerals that seep from the bones if you're actually using bones. Um, but it just feels so warming and calm when you are feeling, you know, under the weather. I used the bone broth and I made a soup with it, of course, including lots of vegetables um, that have those vitamins and minerals and um we made the soup but i also just drank it plain it's usually one of the drinks that i start every morning with so let's talk about the liquids and the drinks that i'm drinking so obviously i always got my big trusty water bottle so always drinking tons and tons of water i even found some wheatgrass powder so uh let's see what this tastes looks like sludge but i'm willing to try anything to help me get over this at this point and I usually start my day drinking my chicken broth or my bone broth. Um, and throughout the day, I make this concoction of warm water with some fresh um, juice, ginger and turmeric, uh, some lemon, and then I put some honey in it. I gotta say, it's pretty spicy, but this thing, when I get a cold or any kind of illness, it just like kills everything off. So ginger, I love using ginger. It's spicy and it boosts our immune system and it's said to, you know, kind of kill off and fight any invading illnesses in our bodies. And it's also antibacterial, so it helps to support our immune system. And turmeric is an anti-inflammatory uh, root and it also helps to boost our immune system. And then of course, lemons, adding lemons to a lot of any of just plain water, but also to this lemon water, turmeric ginger concoction uh, full of vitamin C and anti it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory uh, properties which helps to boost our ability our body's ability to fight off any kind of illness and in my case fighting off hoping hoping that this concoction will fight off this COVID. So a few days after my daughter tested positive, my husband started to feel some symptoms, some like phlegmy congestedness in his, you know, in his chest. Um, and so I made him some tea. I have these tea leaves. It's from the Mullen, Mullen, Mullen tree. Um, so I gave this tea, I made this tea for him. And what it does is just kind of help the phlegm kind of come up. And apparently doing a little Google research, it may help fight viral infections and has antibacterial properties as well. So uh, my daughter also had uh, a sore throat. So what I always like to do for, for my kids who have sore throats is make marshmallow root tea. They love the sound of that. They know it's not actually marshmallows, but it's from uh, the marshmallow root. And it's really good for coating sore throats um, and helps to loosen, loosen mucus um, as well. So during the day, my daughter is in second grade. So she is doing her online school. My son's in JK and mean, you know, he doesn't have COVID. He hasn't tested positive for it yet, but he could still potentially get it because of me and my daughter. So he's sent home from school and 
I have to entertain him for the week. So whenever I was doing, you know, crafts with him or playing games, I always wore a mask and I always made attempts to wear gloves when playing with him, right? I don't want to be touching the same surfaces as him. You accidentally touch your face and then, ugh. But wearing gloves is not very fun. So I just had to make sure that we were taking care of him because he has mild asthma. And the last thing I wanted to do was pass on COVID to him. So I just made sure with even like scissors that I had my own scissors so I didn't have to share it with him. And at one point I even had to clean the markers, sanitize the markers. And I gave my daughter a set of her own, I called it COVID markers, and my son some non-COVID markers to play with on their own. So the rules here in Canada are when you are COVID positive, you must stay home. You cannot go anywhere. Um, so I, I think that means you can't even like walk around your neighborhood. I, I really wanted to take the kids to the park, but I said, you know what? Thankfully we have our own backyard, which is a total disaster uh, because of the early spring months of COVID, but let's go outside and play. The kids have their daily dose, their daily hour or two of fresh air, a little bit of sunshine, and just have fun and working off some of that extra energy or maybe the, you know, kind of negative grungy attitude that they may have. Of course, <sighs> more laundry for me to do. Okay, so I've talked about food, I've talked about, you know, what I was wearing around the house, but let's talk about some of the supplements that I used. So these are actually all of the supplements that I either take on a daily basis or uh, when we feel like a cold's coming in. So I've got um, oil of oregano is antiviral and it's something I always take. It's just a tincture, like a liquid. You kind of put it under your tongue and whew, it is spicy, it's hot, but I always feel like it really kills my cold early on if I take it earlier enough. Uh, we also take echinacea, always at the first sign of any kind of cold or sickness, helps boost our immune system and increase the white blood cells which fight off infections. So it's been shown that a deficiency in vitamin D3 leads to increased autoimmunity and you be can become more susceptible to infections and illnesses. And it's important for us, for my son to take it because vitamin D3 can also ward off respiratory illnesses. So he has mild asthma, so we want to make sure that we are all getting our daily dose of that. Um, I gave my kids um, elderberry syrup. This brand is Syro, and it just has a high antioxidant uh, vitamin C, uh, boosts your immune system and just helps ward off any kind of viruses of course we none of us are really sure about what is actually helping to make you feel better when you have COVID symptoms or make COVID you know leave your body quicker but basically I am just doing everything that I can in my power and everything that I know you know that I've used in the past when it comes to any kind of illness that we have so let's talk about the things foods drinks that we are staying away from so obviously maybe not so obvious, we're staying away from inflammatory foods uh, like sugar, wine, juice, pop. And those are things that we really don't eat a lot of anyway or drink a lot of. Um, staying away from processed foods, McDonald's, like dry, like takeout, like all that kind of stuff. Although my sister-in-law did drop off McDonald's for the kids one day, but uh, I'm not stressing over that. We're just trying to eat as um, healthy and nutritious as possible. Like I always say, foods from the earth, right? Earth grown nutrients and not processed or chemically laden type of foods. There's actually a kind of a silver lining to COVID and being home with my kids. My son is actually becoming more independent. And it's because I keep telling him, mommy has COVID, I shouldn't touch you, I shouldn't be close to you, I'm not gonna brush your teeth, right? So I'm getting him to do these things on his own. I mean, sure, I could wear gloves and brush his teeth, but I really want him to be doing these things on his own. Getting dressed on his own, own. Uh, it's sure it takes him a long time, but time is something I have a lot of these days. So I really don't mind, you know, just kind of kicking it and waiting for him to get himself dressed every morning. The one thing that isn't food related, not diet, you know, nothing like that is just prayer. We've been praying a lot. And, you know, during this whole pandemic, we've been praying for our country. We've been praying for the world, uh, for just to coronavirus to just like, come on and just disappear. Right. Um, I think at this point, 
we, you know, have prayed for healthy bodies. And I feel like myself and my daughter have really kind of been healthy through this whole time. I mean, we've had very mild symptoms, but the news is kind of a scary place. And reading things about COVID and the future of people who have had COVID is kind of scary, right? We don't know if there's going to be any long-term effects. Um, some people, some doctors are saying there are long-term effects. And so I think at this point, we are just praying for healthy bodies uh, and for no long-term effects and no negative long-term effects, either mentally, physically, whatever in our body. So if that's one thing I want to leave with you guys, it's just to pray. Pray that this, um, you know, goes away soon. Pray that you, your family stays healthy and just pray for protection from God. Mamas, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Um, thanks for supporting this channel. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I have big hugs from afar for you and air kisses from afar. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.